Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here things are bursting after the rain and sunshine is coming and uh, warmth. This is our snow peas, but they grew so much out of hand. Many times people ask us artichoke, almost one meter eighty high. Many times people ask us whether we make compost and the answer is usually yes, no, no, yes. What we do is um, this swale I dug by hand to this day, exactly three years ago, the very first swale I've ever made. And uh, so we have the lower part and the higher part, the swale and the berm. The swales we always fill with organic material. Now, after three years, this is what the organic material looks like. I don't think one can ask for anything better. This was clay and now this is what it looks like. This is the first time that we harvest uh, the decomposed organic matter and uh, we are delighted. So we will keep filling it again and start the process all over again. Just to show, this is a wild olive and this is the home oak. Came up from seed. So this is now the first process, first step, then I will level it and uh, then I will put the irrigation back and then I will plant the potatoes. This is what I still found in the soil. And uh, potatoes are ready to go. We didn't want to plant them too early because it was extremely wet and we feared they might rot. And then as soon as they have been planted, then we will mulch it with the hay we have. We have also placed a lot of loquat seeds in here. They're coming up. This one and that one over there, a tangerine that didn't make it, but the rootstock is growing. So I will encourage it so that when it's a bigger size, then we can do some grafting. We are so happy with this soil, compost, fertile land. We have almost a thousand nine hundred meters of swales and all the swales are full of organic material. Do we make compost? I think so. Planning a year ahead, I have reconstructed the sandbox. I will level it and then uh, try to stick about a thousand cuttings in here 
but uh, I don't want to have a variety because the different root systems make it very difficult to harvest so I was thinking perhaps half I will have mulberry and the other half uh, uh, hackberry or uh, even uh, or the hawthorn it will make me happy I still have to take these out but I'm not in a hurry it's only the start of our spring then we have more space here on the farm we have some bold patches and uh, some of them quite large I wondered what it was and then I realized this is where I chop down nettles, thistles from the last year or three meters and almost nothing is growing underneath. So uh, why? At least with the sister's brush we remove something grows so here are a few new ones they bite quite severely <laughs> but if you go at the bottom of it one can escape most of the thorns or whatever it's called yes interesting here at the culvert where we have a small side canal in relation to the water that does come through the culvert. On the one side we have a cinder block wall and the other side just the soil. When I constructed it I had to do a lot of research to understand how this work and my research showed me if the water moves slowly that almost no erosion will take place then i had to understand what is the meaning of slowly so my calculations were made and uh, i put some blocks there at the entrance so the canal is wide because it, if it is more narrow then the speed of the water will increase. I talked about this extensively in older videos and uh, I am happy to report that there is almost no erosion whatsoever into the soil. Several million liters of water must have passed through here. And uh, one can still see the teeth mark. Go away! Teeth mark of the excavator. And... Uh, I'm happy that it worked, that I could understand it and work it out and come to some logic conclusion and execute it. It's difficult, but that's why I'm here. Hopefully soon we 
will remove these white ghosts. Uh, there's no chance of any frost anymore. Excellent. Till next time. Goodbye.